Hey YouTube, uh, here's my gear list I like to take backpacking, you know, all weather. Let's get started with the mechanics gloves. Very good gloves, my go-to gloves, highly recommended. Uh, here's a cheap old mitten slash uh, cutoff glove right here. It's good for very cold temperatures. It's fleece, waterproof. Very, very good. Crocodile gaiters. They're they're a bit on the large side, but they they work. Here is a black cheap just windbreaker uh, water resistant, not waterproof jacket that I picked up for ten bucks. If it's not gonna rain, I'll take it. If it's gonna rain, I'll take this. It's waterproof. It's my uh, Costco brand Kirkland, and yes, it it is very very good. I don't see why I would need anything else unless I wanted to go a little lighter. Uh, here's the pants. I like these. I, I usually wear these outside when I'm working. Um, but the only thing I really don't like is they don't zip all the way up down the leg. Uh, there's a small little zip. And plus the Velcro. That sucks. But for work, and they're cheap, 50 bucks, buys you the jacket and the pants. I like it mainly for the jacket. The pants are really good. Here is my uh, red ledge, ledge, and they zip all the way up and down the the leg. Again, Velcro, sucky, sucky, but you live with it. Poncho, to, um, it's a good shelter, and it's a good rain jacket. It'll always, always come with me. It's it's a must. Lightweight shorts, summertime usually. Cotton shirt. That usually ends up to, uh, in being a towel or you know a rag or some something tank top. Uh, if it's cold, these are really thick, cheap old polyester uh, pants. They're thicker than than these, the REI thermals. But these actually, this and my my armor, my body arm under armor. And an extra pair of socks, those are dedicated for my bag clothes. That's only when I'm wearing for my pajamas, really. Um, they're great, though. I like them a lot. Cap, it's got a little flashlight adapter to it. Uh, I probably, this is a cheap old hat. I was seeing if that would work, and it works, so I'll probably adapt that to uh, maybe a wool cap of some sort. Extra pair of boxers, uh, extra pair of socks, extra pair of sock liners. Uh, here's my bug net. And this is just like a mask, little thin little mask. It's, it works. It's from Marmot. Uh, so I'm missing my wool hat. Uh, and my wool hoodie and my boonie hat for hats oh here camp shoes these very lightweight but bulky I like them but I am looking at other options like maybe toe shoes <laughs> I don't know I'll get back to you with that okay here's my sleeping bag liner uh, grizzly micro liner says it's good for 40 degrees. I've never used it, so I'm not gonna speak on it too much, but I'm sure, I mean, it's comfortable. It's, it's a little silky. I'm sure I'll bring my temperature down on my Kelty, Kelty Galactic 30, uh, 600 fill. It's, it's pretty light. It's, it's like three pounds or something, three pounds, nine ounces. Uh, it, I like the cut. You can get a lighter, lighter backpacks, but I really like the cut. It is uh, it lays out flat as a blanket. You can uh, zip it to your wife's. It's got a little pocket right here, and I haven't got a stuff sack for it, but the sack it came with it. Oh, I guess a compression stuff sack. The sack that I came with it, you can get it down pretty small, but uh, I'm pretty sure if you had a compression bag, it work a lot better. Same cut, this is the heavy, heavy tank. Um, use it for many, many, many times. Uh, very, very warm, but very, very heavy. 
It is dedicated car camping <laughs> backpack now. I don't think I'll ever take it, but uh, when it gets wet, it's it's still pretty warm. I've actually gotten it pretty soaked in twice and kept me very warm. Emergency Bivy by uh, uh, Venture Medical. Very, this is, this got to go with you every time. Everybody should have this, especially if you have a down sleeping bag. The down sleeping bag gets wet, you're screwed. Use this, you might even save your life, who knows. Love this, uh, it'll go with me day hikes every time. This is one of the essentials for me. Z Light by Thermal Rest. My hands down favorite. Biggest reason is you can't pop the thing. I've had some pop on me before and I did not enjoy it at all. It's, it's very affordable. You can uh, spend under 50 bucks on it. If you want it to be lighter, you can cut off a couple sections. It's already pretty light as it is. Uh, very fast. Boom, 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 boom. And you can go. This is my inexpensive tent. If you're looking for an expensive tent, I recommend this one. That's for sure. There's no problems with it at all. It's a A-frame camo tent. Um, sleeps two with a three-year warranty. I hope the friend that you're bringing with you are close because if you're sleeping two in here, you're going to be sleeping shoulder to shoulder pretty much. But for one man or one man and his wife or one man and his dog, this tent has been working good for me. Um, I changed out the stakes just because it came with some cheesy black ones and I lost a couple of them. So I went with the REIs. Tyvex. Uh, this is either you know overhead, underneath, whatever you want. Throwaway tarp. It's free. Uh, besides the spray paint, but uh, $3. Other side is white. You want to camel out in the snow. You're good. Stay tuned for my tools.